Hey, what's up, everyone? Dragon here with... Ashley. <laughs> okay, sure. We'll go with that. Um, and we are back with another trailer reaction. This one for a trailer two for a Colossal. We didn't have to wait very long for this one, it seems like. No, like, what, a month and a half, maybe? Yeah, it feels like we just... I mean, I guess it's been a minute, but it feels like we just did it. Yeah. Um, kind of came under, like, a slew of, like, trailer reactions we were doing. But we need to say it wasn't, like, that long ago and uh we actually really enjoyed the first trailer i'll be <coughs> excuse me it didn't show us like you know too too much a couple of shots of the it monster. wasn't anything like i was expecting so no no i'm I mean, really curious to and see like i said we, we even said it that way we didn't know if it was gonna be a comedy if it was gonna be serious you know the story the the synopsis i had read in the past could have kind of gone either way so then we finally saw the trailer like oh so it's like a monster comedy that's cool but beyond that didn't really give us any like detail much about what the story is just obviously that for whatever reason she controls the monster mm -hmm. so now there's another trailer pretty quickly after so i'm kind of hoping maybe this one explains Again, a little bit the more other was only 30 seconds this one is almost two minutes so. no it was like a minute was it yeah it felt shorter than that because mm -hmm. it really wasn't much of anything but so it was like about from i can see it's almost like two minutes long so yeah. i'm hoping we get a little bit more meat on this one because I, I am legitimately curious about this movie uh so without further ado let's uh watch trailer two for colossal boom You don't remember anything last night, huh? I got really melodramatic, didn't I? You told me that you weren't really on a vacation. That you've been looking for a job for a year, and your boyfriend <laughs> didn't work out. You are out of control. He looks familiar. Two things mm -hmm. in the bedroom. What? And since you didn't have any money, you decided to move back here. Is there anything else? remember anything <laughs> the unprecedented nature of this you get that tangle when you know you're watching something that's going to change Even the course of history you all right yeah uh, it's this nervous tick i have i get this itch <laughs> oh my god they appeared same place exact same place but it just made a bunch of weird hand gestures Is dancing like? <laughs> Holy shit! Ow! What was that? What was that? A helicopter. With the, with like the Could you feel that? I guess so. <laughs> Give him a good show. Keep it cool. Oh my God, these people are looking at us. She's the monster. <laughs> Huh, we changed the font. Yeah. Well, that um, that certainly gave us more. Uh, it's still not really explaining how she's controlling it, mm -hmm. but it is. Because before it made it look like it was almost when she was drunk or like not completely, like. Yeah, but awake. now it seems like it's always when she's in like the park. Yeah. I mean, maybe and maybe not, but it seems like every time she was like. At least when she was actively controlling, when she was aware of it, they yeah. seemed to be in the in the park. I don't know if maybe, um, like, depending on where she is geographically, where, where she's I was gonna at. I going to say, is it like the opposite pole or something, I wonder? Yeah, like maybe that it determines geographically where the yeah. monster, because I know when she was dancing and doing something in the park, it seemed like the monster was almost in the bay. Mm -hmm. And when she was, like, in the bar doing something or showing shots of it, like, in the city, so maybe she goes to the park because... That means the monster will be in the water, so then it doesn't yeah. hurt anyone. So she can play around as the monster without actually hurting anyone. Well, I kind of wonder, because you see her kind of looking like she's going to fight something at the end. I wonder if another monster is going to show up, maybe, whether it's a controlled one or not. I don't know, because I used to give them a good show. So I'm wondering if maybe she's like, okay, once she realizes that she can control it, she like, you know, has fun with it a little bit. And it looks like it seems like she's walking through Sam. Wonder did she go to South Korea? Maybe did she go to Seoul? Maybe, maybe to confront it, like you know, in real time. I don't know. It's inch it raises a lot of interesting questions. Yeah. Uh, I like the fact that she seems to be embracing it a little bit and having kind of fun with it. But yeah, it looks like she was kind of determined about something. I'm like, okay, I'm wondering if maybe there's something that we're not seeing yet, which would be nice. It'd be nice yeah. to 
actually go into a movie for once and be surprised by something. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that'd be kind of cool. Maybe there's another thing. But uh, a lot of the plane crashes in her head, you know. So <laughs> Was the pilot and everything? So there's going to be some collateral damage, obviously. It wouldn't be a kaiju flick with that. But then, did, did she feel that, though? That's what I want to know. Cause she, she, like she, she did. She responded. But like, so I'm, <clears throat> I'm wondering if... Uh, well, it's kind of like she said how she got that, like, itch. Which is funny, because I itched my head the same time she did that. But, uh... <laughs> Uh, and then the monster did it, so I wonder if that's her feeling it or if the monster's feeling it and she's itching because the monster was? Yeah, yeah that's the thing, too. It's like, it's kind of like... I'm um, assuming it would go both ways. Yeah, I, again, I'm, I'm very curious, like, how she's able, like, why is this happening? Yeah. I, I get the metaphor. I saw, like, the poster, and they, I think it said something to the effect, like, uh, everyone has a monster. I know we all have a monster. It was something yeah. along those lines, I'm um, paraphrasing. Okay, so I get the, I get the allegory, but... You know, you have the allegory, and then you actually have to have the literal explanation, yeah. you know, of the film. Again, the original Godzilla was an allegory for the atomic bomb. That was the allegory. But the literal explanation of Godzilla was he was a prehistoric creature that was awakened yeah. and affected by the bomb. Okay, so we have the allegory that people are kind of their own monster, their own worst enemy. We're self-destructive. by nature. Okay, I get that. But now, what is the literal explanation for how there is a monster that apparently yeah, yeah. is like... Giant like Jaeger, publicity. yeah, like Jaeger linked to her basically. So, but I'm glad they're actually not giving that away because I was yeah. wondering if they're gonna. That was just before we watched the trailer. I was saying I wonder if they're gonna explain that. And now that I saw this trailer, I'm kind of glad they didn't because I, that's well, that's kind of the movie. I yeah, guess, yeah. But, I, but, but I'm just I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm glad that. But they gave me enough other stuff to really kind of latch onto to really enjoy. And I wasn't feeling like oh they didn't give me what I want. No, it yeah. gave me a bunch of other you know tasty nuggets as it were. So, I don't know, I guess that's, that's really all there is to say about it. I mean, it's still not, it still feels weird, because it's like, a few months back, we weren't even talking or wasn't even anything up on it the radar. It just kind of appeared. Yeah, like the monster itself. I know. It just kind of appeared, and suddenly we're like, oh, shit, this is a thing that's happening. Okay. Yeah, because I thought, I remember you talking about the whole lawsuit thing. And yeah, then... again, I read about this, like, over a year, it was like it was before 2014 came out. Godzilla 2014. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was before that movie came out. The, that was the first and last I had heard of it. So, not on my radar like whatsoever. I don't think it was on anyone's radar because I don't think anyone knew it was still being made. Yeah. And suddenly it's like, whoop, here it is. So, cool. I'm glad it got made. You can never have too many kaiju flicks. Uh. But yeah, I'm really just kind of curious now because yeah. again, there's there's no build up for me. Like all these other like look Kong coming out next month. We've been like ready for that for a while. I mean, we're the hype train for Godzilla King of the Monsters is like in full swing already and then we've got like another like what, two, three years for that to come out. But this movie it's kinda nice that I'm excited about it and I don't have to wait like a year or two years for it to come out. Like I, I basically found that it was happening a month ago. And I don't think I have to wait that much longer to go see it. So. Yeah, I said April. So. Yeah, so after the deluge of films in March, it's kind of still that we got something to look forward to in April before yeah. like May and the whole summer movie season starts. So, I don't know. The blockbuster bonanza. Oh, what do you call March? Holy crap. Um, March is going to make so many people so much money. I know. Um, no, and no. us so poor. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it's gonna because we're giving them all our money. It's like, here's our pot of gold. Take it, please. Um... Uh, but yeah, so I don't know. Anything else? It's kind of like, it didn't really tell us more, it just kind of showed us more, it just it kind of elaborated the vibe of the first trailer, mm -hmm. but I like it, I don't know. I'm definitely I, intrigued. And, uh, and uh, I don't know, I just think I love about kaiju films. They, it just looks really weird and quirky. And I'm yeah, like, and I'm really glad, looking forward to and it. I'm glad in the, this age of more serious kaiju oh, films, yeah. which is, I mean, I like the series, don't get me wrong, I mean, I, people would say like something like Pacific Rim kind of like towed the line. It was kind of fun and kind of animation, very Showa esque. Yeah. But at the same time, it wasn't just slapstick. I kind of like that we are getting a legit slapstick yeah. kaiju movie. Like it's like, unapologetically just funny and goofy. Like the fact that they're again, singing and dancing. Know, they could be showing us all the like really really comedic bits. I mean, yeah. I don't think so, but... And everything else is just horrific, like, Starship Trooper-style violence. We're like, oh, God! Like, that little KBC, like, you know, laying of oh a fun. Oh, it's funny. You just see blood and guts go through. We're like, oh, my God! Well, what is it rated? 
I actually didn't pay attention. I don't know either. I didn't pay attention. I'll have to look at that. I was so like, I Unless don't know. Unless it's not rated yet, maybe. It might. I don't know. I don't know. But that's my thing. I mean, it's got a lot of accolades from a kind of the independent film war world. So yeah, I, I saw that. I mean, I've heard good things about it. But yeah, no, I mean, obviously somebody died when he like flew into her head. I so know. I don't think it's going to be an innocent movie. But I think it's going to be kind of, I think it's like a dark comedy where oh, yeah. bad things are going to happen, but it's going to happen in a way we can all just chuckle about. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, so... Um, Without further ado, I guess that's it. So leave some comments below. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, are you excited for this movie? I know we are. Uh, uh, yeah, so if you haven't already, please subscribe to her channel. I'll leave a link in the comment sec or the description section below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe here and uh, give us some of your thoughts because we are always curious when we kind of discover these little nuggets of films. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace!